thought I'd take us into a little bit of uh, jewelry manufacturing. Uh, <clears throat> we uh, have on hand about, I'm going to say, 3,500 to 4,000 molds. And they're all various kinds. They're ring molds, uh, wedding set molds, or channel set molds, or single solitary molds. It all make wax molds, and the waxes are all cast into either gold, silver, platinum, what, whatever you choose. Uh, most of the time it's 14 or 10 karat yellow or white gold. Uh, rose gold is becoming uh, very popular again. Uh, for years no, nobody wanted it. Now it uh, seems like the, the younger generation are just wild about it. So these could easily be casted into uh, rose gold. Uh, I'm going to take you through a few steps of how a manufacturing facility like ours can uh, run, uh, you know, two or three thousand molds. Uh, this is just a small setup here, uh, and uh, we're not using a vacuum in injector right now. So, but to show you how it was done, we set this this wax pot up, and uh, and uh, so we can uh, give you an idea of how this is all done. Now, over here a little bit. There is a uh, box of uh, molds, and there's, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred boxes in the back room. And uh, all these are numbered, and uh, what, what we can do with uh, with those is we can list them. Now, we list uh, wax mountings because we're, we're selling wax mountings on our website now. So, it uh, is a little... takes a little time to understand how it all works. Uh, we're, we're set up to uh, run, a, oh, we can probably run three or four hundred waxes a day if we wanted to. And uh, But to actually categorize these for the website and uh, do a photography uh, picture of them and try to get any quality at all, it uh, takes quite a while. Incidentally, uh, to make a mold, uh, it requires uh, either a, a metal uh, uh, wax car or metal carving or a, a wax carving of the item which you want to make a mold of. So the first first mold is about 20% larger than what you really want and then when we uh, cast that it shrinks a little bit we cast it usually in sterling silver and then from there we finish it off so it's uh, perfect and then we make a mold of that, which reduces it another percentage mark uh, in, in shrinkage. And then when we re-inject that mold, the rubber mold, uh, it reduces it again. So there's there's three sh shrinkage, shrinkages uh, before you even get started with one. So you have to remember when you design a, a ring uh, such as ours, you have to uh, make sure that you're about 20% 20, 20 over what you want to end up with. So if you're using a two-point diamond, you got to take uh, the head size at, at about 20%. And uh, by the time you get all the shrinkages in there and then the final casting, you're going to be about right. So I know this is a little junky up here, but it was the only place I have to, to really do this shoot right now. So <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Poor old Mike. So we'll go back over here to the wax injector. Now this is just a simple little wax injector, and we used it a lot. And when we first got started, that was 20 some years ago. And uh, I always wanted to be in the manufacturing business and the jewelry, and didn't have any clue as to how hard it would be, and uh, how many how many hundreds of thousands of hours it would take to achieve it. Uh, a lot of our uh, molds, our rubber molds, that uh, make these wax mountings, and then of course those are cast into whatever color you want in gold, uh, average about 40 to 50 hours worth of work to carve one, get it casted, turn it into a, a working mold, rubber mold, and uh, then uh, get it out to a, uh, to a a final uh, casting that you could uh, sell uh, in your stores. So bear in mind that uh, this took years and years to do and then we also bought a lot of our molds. Uh, we bought a company in New York, we bought part of their mold system out and so we acquired quite a few molds that way too. So uh, 
a good clean wax is what you're always striving for and if you don't get a clean one then it takes once again a lot of time to uh, clean them up so that they're ready for casting so to uh, shoot a picture now this is this is the solitaire uh, mounting basically uh, so it only holds the um, the center uh, head would fit right in here where this little lump is this little casting is you drill a hole through that and then you would uh, weld, weld a head in and this would be a, a kind of a single stone uh, wedding set and uh, you can see it was designed so that we could uh, do a variation on it if we wanted to and uh, this particular one here is a, would be an excellent uh, rose gold cell uh, it would be a within tolerance where you can afford to buy it and uh, you know you could use oh a 15 to maybe a half carat uh, head in this and it would really look sharp so this was an injection and uh, I'm going to show you how these are done so we use a, a low pressure or you use a, a vacuum advance but uh, for, for today's practical purposes we're just going to use a, a regular little wax injector with pressure so you use two plates and you make sure that you're nice and firm but not too firm and you run it in and you see that the wax has uh, been injected into it so this is part one of the of the wedding set and here is part two of that same wedding set that you just saw and uh, it's pressurized to about oh looks like about a quarter, maybe a quarter of a pound of air pressure. <clears throat> now we usually do about oh, 20 or 30 at a time and then go back and open them because the wax has to have time to set. And you can see it's still dimpling so it's not quite set. So if I open it right now this is going to cause problems with the, with the wax. Uh, you don't want to have shrinkage in your mold. And there are lots of problems that, that rise, so you have to really look your molds over to this particular one here. And uh, it has an air pocket that's inside of the, the wax, so it's no good. But it's good enough for us to go ahead and shoot a picture of it and put it in our uh, wax catalog on our website at mybenchjeweler.com. So we sell these uh, wedding sets for uh, roughly, uh, I think they sell for $3 a set when you go to wedding sets and uh, 85 cents for single mounts and a dollar twenty for ring mounts so miscellaneous stuff you'll they're all on the website but all right let's go ahead and open this up okay and there's your there's your uh, centerpiece this will be the where the the uh, engagement stone would set right down in here like that and uh, then the next mold will be the uh, wedding band the band itself so we'll go ahead and this is opening it so air compressor That's how this one goes. Sometimes you have to look them over, they're a little bit complicated, really. So, this one actually fits really neat into the pocket here, just like that. So, that would be your band, and then your, uh, your uh, engagement head and, and stone would fit right in there. So, you can see just a little bit of fitting right there. We, we don't want that because it takes a lot of time to clean those out. but Sometimes you're just forced to do it. And then we would have a couple, three uh, people doing it when we were in full force making uh, rings. So so now you see how the, uh, the molds are, are uh, injected and then the wax mountings come out of those. And then we categorize them like this would be a uh, 
WS wedding set so, single solitaire and uh, 3151 is the uh, the uh, manufacturing number for it so somehow on the uh, website those numbers will appear that way and then when a customer orders a wax mounting that he wants to do his own casting he'll give us that number and then we'll we will ship you the exact ring that uh, he's looking for and uh, it works pretty good that way so but there's a lot of waxes you know when you're trying to do 4,000 waxes it takes a while so uh, we'll do another one here here's here's a mold uh, wax mold uh, 2880 and 20 or 2380 and 2381 I think that's it now yeah, they're eights. This is so it's a 2880 and a 2881. So once again, we we'll take the uh, pressure plates here and uh, find the hole, inject, let off, and you hold it for a few seconds so that you can let that uh, wax set up a little bit, and then uh, we'll set it aside. Put another one in there. This is the other half of the ring set, the wedding set. And you can only hold in there so long because if you if you don't, it'll it'll split out the sides. And then you now we ruined all your wax. And we we salvage this wax. Uh, we try to keep it clean, and then put it back in the in the wax pot as we as we uh, need it. And uh, works pretty good that way. So we don't lose a lot of wax. And uh, if it's if it's a bad casting or it gets dirty in it, well then we just throw the wax away. So and wax is kind of we use this blue uh, medium uh, carving uh, uh, injector wax. It's it's uh, the best we've ever found, and it does a nice job for for what we're trying to do. It uh, is easy to work with. You can actually uh, do a little bit of uh, cleaning with it. Uh, I can. There's a number of ways to uh, uh, shine your wax mounting up and getting it ready for your casting. And we're going to go through uh, an actual casting. We'll, we'll we'll start from from fat scratch, making one up here, getting it ready to go, sprue it in the in the sprue base, uh, run the plaster, and then take it to the back and uh, back room, and we'll do a uh, a couple of castings back there. We'll show you how the castings are actually done. Uh, Anybody who wants to really learn how to do this could set up and do it. And uh, there's a lot of places you can buy molds and you can muscle, also make your own molds, which is a lot of what we did in the, in the past 40 years. So I'm going to try and open this up a little soon. And uh, there's your mount. And uh, this would be the wedding band of that mount. See how nice those come out? Those are really sharp little mounts. These, are, like I said, rose gold is going in style, so these would make really sweet uh, uh, rose mounts, rose gold wedding mounts. So we'll go ahead and put that one there, and we'll. I broke this one. See it? What happens when you're not watching which way you went? fits in right there. We'll, we'll go ahead and cast another one. So I opened it just a little bit too soon. And a lot of times we have an X. See where that X is? That means that we should have opened it from this side and I probably opened it from the wrong side. That's why that little X is right there. And sometimes that's the way you want to inject it too because And we'll let that one sit for a little bit. Now we could, uh, let's see. Here's another set. Uh, it's 3040. And it's a two piece wedding set. She might be drying up just a little bit. 
Here we go. We'll run another one. Now the next thing we want to do to get these ready for shooting is put them together so that they're they're a match set. Okay, now this is this one has uh, accent stones in it, so you would have. Uh, Looks like one, two, two little diamonds, and then your your center stone right here. So once again, that's to make a nice rose gold set. And uh, so to get this ready for photography, the next thing I do is I come over here, come in the back side, and I go ahead and get these. I use this as a little wax uh, pin, and. Uh, I just kind of weld them together so that they stay put. And then uh, that's ready for uh, shooting a picture. And I think I'll show you how that's done too. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is the way I, I have always set them up. You know, years ago we didn't have, uh, you know, 30 years ago there wasn't any uh, internet. So there wasn't any possibility of selling any of your, your products other than through. Uh, stores, retail stores, and or your own store if you had one, and uh, so you really didn't need a lot of photographs. Uh, a lot of times these were all made up out of sterling silver, and they had fake uh, uh, stones set on them, and uh, then they were plated gold, 14 karat gold, and you would carry the the sample line uh, along with you to the. Uh, to the retail stores and then you would sell your uh, products to them then you would uh, go back to your factory and and build them up and, and sell them to them according to what they wanted and uh, different different size stones I mean this is just hundreds of different ways to build up a, a, a wedding set if you're selling wedding sets you can use sapphire sapphire and diamonds uh, diamonds only ruby and sapphire and diamond uh, ruby or sapphire and diamond uh, mix uh just uh, you know there's just hundreds of combinations so a person could easily have a 30,000 piece line with uh, six seven thousand uh, molds and uh, it was a <laughs> uh, a hectic deal because it all had to be categorized and then your your sample cases for each salesman they had to have a complete sample case so <clears throat> it was on not uncommon to have eight or ten sample cases of, of, of uh, 10 or 15,000 mounts so you can see the uh, the cost of, of, of putting that together so anyway uh, I'll shut down for a minute and go get a fixture and I'll show you how these were shot and photographed okay uh, we're back so what I've done is I've used my wax pen. You can see it kind of it's hot, and we go underneath here and we put a little bit of uh, melted wax on this uh, plexiglass plate, as you can see it. And uh, now we've got, and I generally try to put the engagement to the outside, and the the uh, wedding band set to the inside. That way you get a, a beautiful picture up here of of, of the the where the uh, head's going to go and uh, it's a lot easier to imagine what you're going to uh, look like when you get it done so here uh, we use a plexiglass block and it's square so when I use a, a, a photo program I take in there and I and I square it do a square crop and I, I crop it about the size of this this block uh, most of the time and this sets on a piece of solid white paper so you're actually seeing through it and then uh, in the uh, photo uh, processing we eliminate this sprue so you don't see the sprue and we white out the rest of this to match, to match the uh, white paper and what that does is uh, makes this look like it's floating in the air 
and it's kind of fun to fun to play with. Uh, I'll give you an idea here. Another just you see how it looks, and then we can use a oh, a fill uh, uh, fixture or fill on your on your your software program, and this will all turn white. Now the blue uh, it doesn't uh, penetrate the blue, so it leaves the blue ring just exactly as you see it, and then it, it's all around a, a white square base and uh, makes for a nice photograph but it also once again takes an awful lot of time to do that so with that you know that's why uh, we used to sell these uh, wax ring mounts to uh, to uh, casters for uh, five dollars a pair and I've lowered that to three dollars and uh, for a pair and then miscellaneous items uh, you know oh, like a football pendant or uh, mermaid uh, uh, earring or pendant or something like that uh, I charge about 85 cents a piece for those and it's worth every penny of the time you get your waxes cleaned up and get them uh, categorized and, and be able to, to uh, ship those out uh, so uh, the next step would be to uh, actually set this up and uh, do a casting for you. So I, I'm not real set up for that right now. Uh, we'd have to go to the other building and uh, set up. But uh, I'll uh, get that uh, arranged so we can do that. And I'll show you how a casting is, is done from start to finish. And uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, items we make now, which is just silver jewelry, uh, we do. Well, I show how you, how you build it out of just wire or uh, plate uh, silver, and uh, those can easily be uh, made into uh, molds if it's a hot seller, and then you can inject hundreds of them. We uh, we we do a lot of uh, Indian feathers, and uh, we make molds of those, and we uh, so we can ship them out hundreds at a time. So uh, we have a gentleman that uh, sells for us over in. Uh, uh, South Dakota, uh, Rapid City, and Silver Dollar City, and, and Branson, and some of those areas. So, and it's, it's kind of a same process as we're doing right now. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. So, it uh, shows you kind of uh, how it's done and uh, the uh, process that's involved. It's it's quite complicated, <laughs> you know when you start doing hundreds of these so thanks for watching as always and uh, any questions uh, be sure to, uh, to leave comments in the uh, on YouTube for us we, uh, we will answer them just as, as fast as we can